when we proposed AIRS, okay, we had two goals. The first one, as a prerequisite, we must provide data that will improve weather forecasting. Now that we have done it, we can go back and look at the research products and find out how much more can we get out, out of the AIRS data. We worked with NASA at that time to basically show that we can get a large amount of climate data that no one else could get. The way I, my research works is I try to think of a really good problem. That's really the key to science is coming up with a good problem. So if you come up with a good problem, then you sort of say, okay, how do I test this? And so I look around for data with which to test it. And that's how I came to work on a, with a lot of AIRS data. It's really the, um, probably the best water vapor data set available. The AIRS data is a key link for providing um, observations at pretty much unprecedented um, spatial and time scales over regions of the planet that we've never had observations before. AIRS is, uh, is an operational instrument, it's global, it measures every day, it measures 324,000 scenes a day, every day for seven years. So AIRS is critical in giving us a global context. We can get carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, aerosols, cloud properties, surface properties, etc. When the AIRS uh, idea was developed, it was actually quite trivial to go there and, and understand that it could measure some of the basic gases, especially carbon monoxide, uh, just from looking at the instrument design and understanding the spectroscopy involved. What we didn't understand is that we could measure some of the other minor gases uh, uh, so well, such as methane, uh, and more recently we're looking at uh, nitric acid and some of the chlorofluorocarbons. AIRS is really the first global uh, satellite data set that has a very high quality, both water vapor and ozone, in both of the data quality and the spatial temporal resolution that can contribute in the travel pulse region. There are no data prior to errors of this kind of quality for my research. 